statement. I now give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Mr. President. We deeply regret the fact that the Security Council has once again found itself dragged into this political show and misadventure. The, the draft submitted by the U.S. delegation was written for regime change, disguised as care for people. We've seen all of this already vis-a-vis -vis Libya, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan. We have already adopted a Security Council resolution on Libya, a resolution that was unscrupulously exploited for bombings and brutish regime change. The damage that this has wrought is now known to all of us. Where is Libya now? What has happened to Libya? And what of those African countries uh, which are gripped by the tentacles of international terrorism from Libya? Washington and London have once again robbed an entire nation of billions of dollars and are forcibly imposing handouts which are contingent upon regime change. First, you create colossal humanitarian problems, and then you call upon the world to resolve them. It, we, it, we, it, we were forced to, to exercise the right to a veto because the U.S. draft is not geared towards resolving the problems of Venezuela. For this reason, we proposed an alternative draft resolution, a draft resolution that could have helped the Venezuelan people independently without foreign intervention to resolve their problems. Today, many delegations have said that it is necessary as soon as possible to hold elections in Venezuela. Elections or no elections, this is a decision to be taken by the Venezuelan people themselves. Do not decide for them. Most important is dialogue, and you are literally and figuratively burning down bridges. Our document contained support for the Montevideo mechanism. However, dialogue and mediation clearly are not what Washington and those delegations supporting it are not what they are aiming for. Today, we've heard uttered by the distinguished representative of the United Kingdom all an old song. The Russian draft wasn't passed and the U.S. was vetoed. So for the sake of this, this entire thing was concocted. And tomorrow, this will be making front page headlines. And yet, the fact that our draft was killed, that won't be mentioned at all. And we have, we recall and we remember that this was done in the past. This was done deliberately, specifically for this purpose. You are deliberately fracturing the unity of the council, as has been mentioned today, and it's not the first time that you are doing so. Seventy members of the Security Council vote, uh, 17, uh, vote against uh, the, our resolution, and this was an alliance-based thinking, alliance-based uh, discipline, whereas the majority of those who support, not, not even Venezuela, but international law, there are far more of those, at least 60, as has been reflected by the recent uh, meeting in Venezuela, which we held. Indeed, the numbers are far greater. More than 100 of them are here, seated in this chamber. Today's vote is a glaring example of what, uh, why the veto is necessary in order to uphold peace and the right of peoples to determine their own.